The triple demic, made up of COVID-19, the flu and respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, retreated for a second week in a row last week, according to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention data on COVID-19, after a surge in respiratory disease over the holidays led to a double-digit spike in COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths the week after Christmas.7. That's how many states are experiencing very high levels of respiratory illness the week ending January 13. The states on the list are Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, New Mexico, South Carolina, Tennessee and Wyoming. The data is based on ER and outpatient visits. The triple demic, typically peaking during the winter, is a simultaneous increase in COVID, flu and RSV cases. The quick dominance of the coronavirus JN.1 variant has some calling it the second largest surge behind 2021's Omicron wave, which peaked around January 2022. This past December, hospitalizations for COVID alone spiked 20% the week after Christmas, and the U.S. also saw increased numbers for RSV and influenza, leading to mask mandates being reinstated in several healthcare systems across the country. However, the numbers may have peaked around the holidays. COVID-related emergency room visits dropped nearly 13% between the week ending December 30 and the week ending January 6. Vaccination rates for the triple-demic illnesses amongst children and adults remain low, CDC data updated Friday shows. Only 11% of children, 21.5% of people aged 18 to 65 and 40.9% of adults over 65 have received the updated COVID vaccine. Numbers are slightly higher for the flu vaccine, at 47.5%, 46.7% and 73.0% for children, people aged 18 to 65 and those over 65, respectively. The vaccination rate for RSV, which is recommended for adults 60 years old and up, is sitting at 21.1%. Is this COVID surge really the second biggest? Here's what data shows. The Washington Post. COVID hospitalizations and deaths see double-digit spike after holiday. Amid surge in respiratory illnesses. Forbes. Triple-demic may have peaked around the holidays. Axios. Tis the season. Why Influenza and COVID-19 Surge in the Winter, Forbes